The second world update to the US this time. What's really changed? Has the world update 10 done a full revamp at this region? We're here to find out. A data cable is busy praising all of the enhanced places at this region. Now high level speaking, by now we pretty much know what changes we're expecting on this update by this time. However, we're really not sure on why this was kept as a suspense to all of us. It could be possible that the team needed some more focus on the updates than anything else. By the way, make sure to subscribe, we cover the most on what's happening at the sim. Now elevation data has been improved along with photogrammetry and aerial imagery giving us an overall better visual experience. It's quite dramatic, but it's true. Now for the purpose of reference, my card is a 2080 Super, set at ultra for the most part. 14 photogrammetry cities in this update, that means 14 cities have seen a good change from Albany, Arlington, Boys, Charleston, Disney, all the way to San Diego and Seattle. One of the primary cities of the US. Now the team have refined this area with the latest geospatial data. Few things for certain here. This includes digital elevation modeling, satellite imagery and aerial imagery. Very well spread across the US, giving us a little more to explore. It's good to see that the use of DEM data can help the sim that can truly represent a topographic surface of the Earth. Now of course, there are plenty of areas to be addressed still. The last world update, there were some fixes towards trees. We don't see any issues going into this update. It's a complete focus on the US. If you observe the landscapes, it looks quite different and much better. Although the tree aspect looks a bit different, but overall a good feel and much better with a good difference. There's no rich contrast here on the colors, more of a natural tone overall, sometimes lighter. This could be the man of the earth is represented at a certain altitude. Now there have been improvements on a large scale here which is noticeable. Most of us didn't really have any issues updating the patch. Now the last world update surprised us with no updates on previous world updates. This time we did see a bunch of them going into previous ones as well. Gaia simulations have done a solid here gone to lens and mostly on every update, they usually take charge of points of interest and this time giving us 87 this time. 4 handcrafted airports, not bad at all if you take a good look, Catalina airport, Valdez, Lake Tahoe airport and Block Island. However, there's one thing that confuses me. Now Catalina and Block Island airports are available on third party developer stores. Not really sure why a sober addressed this. Another thing to note would be the landmarks pack from third parties. For example, Seattle landmarks and Washington landmarks, would they conflict with this world update? That's something to note. The same manner, usually airport data gets updated as well. However, we didn't see any update this time. Now towards elevation data, this has been perfected for 12 cities. Likewise, these 12 cities have experienced strangulated irregular network modeling, which includes Albany, Arlington, Boyce, Charleston, going all the way to Seattle. All these 12 cities have experienced strangulated irregular network modeling. Now this means that surface morphing with a technique which can cleverly render a region in a better fashion. Now it's understandable that the sim demands requirements and greater attention to detail from simmers like us. This can always help obtain greater resolution that can be well represented without really taxing the application. And it's good to see the use of DEM data that can help the sim truly represent a topographic surface of the earth. Now there haven't been any performance upgrades, however, performance wise, it feels much better actually. When it comes to issues, one of the issues I faced was crash to desktop. Yes, this happened after quite a while, particularly when I was loading a flight. Now coming back to the frames per second, this certainly felt different this time, on a positive note. Let's look at San Diego here for example, an interesting part of the update and you'll see why. The Quezon airport usually has a lot of performance hit. I've experienced it every time I've had a flight landing at this airport. An Orbex airport, a beautiful one, but the frames per second aspect goes dramatically down while we land at this airport. However, post this update, it appears to sail smooth without issues that gives the idea of better performance in this area. Usually airport taxes a lot of performance and it's good to know that the team have been noticing who have worked on this aspect. It actually appears that at some point, the frames per second were quite a little more above the airport. But I think overall, a great job. High level, I'm happy to see these changes take place at the sim. 
there have been noticeable changes at the landscapes, sceneries, elevation data and a lot more. The settings are all set to max here with Ultra. The graphics card used here is an RTX 2080 Super. Overall, a wonderful update. I'm very pleased with this. If you're facing issues, make sure to place your vote and you'll find the link to place your vote in the description below. Big thanks to the team again for this. There are more areas to test by the way. Do subscribe for more and until next time, do take care and happy flying.